Hello, I'm Cha Chan, a full-time fursuit maker from the UK. If you're watching this video, you are probably interested in this fursuit. In this video, I'm going to give you as much information as I possibly can about this suit, so you can make an informed decision on whether or not this is the suit for you. The first things I like to mention about the Cha Chan fursuits are that they are made with a fabric called Cuddle Fleece, which is commonly used to make blankets with. You probably have a cuddle fleece blanket in your home right now. This here is a bit of cuddle fleece. It's the same kind of red that's used on the fursuit back there. As you can see, it's kind of a minky type fabric. It's very soft and it's a kind of short pile fur-esque fabric. So that's cuddle fleece. Other fabrics used on this fursuit are minky, which is used for the teeth and the lining of the mouth. The head and paws are lined with lycra, the eyes are made of plastic, and the golden fabric that you see is a cushion cover that I have cut up to make the various accessories. <laughs> Here is the texture of the gold fabric. It's uh, smooth one way, not so smooth the other way. It's kind of like minky but less soft. So it's nice and shiny, just not quite as comfortable as Minky, but it does not touch your skin directly, like you're not wearing this fabric directly on your skin at any point, so it shouldn't be an issue for comfort of wearing the suit. Key information about this fursuit, it is a mini partial, which means we have a head, hand paws and the tail. The head is built to fit a 23 inch head. But of course, smaller heads, such as myself, I'm a 21 inch head, can wear this just fine. Although if you do have a smaller head, you may want to make yourself some very rough pillows to shove in the head so it's not wobbling around so much. But that's not necessary. Alright, let's talk about the individual parts. Let's start off with the tail. This tail is roughly 20 inches long. It is stuffed with polyfill, so it's like a giant plush toy. It is made of the cuddle fleece fabric. The main body of the tail, the main length, is machine sewn. At the base of the tail, inside here, we have a one inch foam disc. So this will support it when it's on your body. At the end cap, we have two elastic belt loops. Let me quickly go over the main construction of the end cap here. So again, we have the foam disc in there. Then the tail fabric is glued down onto that. After that, I then make an end cap, which is a circle of the same fabric as this, the cuddle fleece. I then machine sew the belt loops to the end cap using the zigzag stitch and go over it a few times so it's nice and secure. Then I take the end cap and I blanket stitch it twice across the top so it's nice and secure. And then I finish up the seam neatly around the bottom with the ladder stitch so everything's nice and concealed inside. So there is the tail and the basic construction of it. Next up we have the paws. The paws are again stuffed with polyfill, so they're like giant plush toys. Let's go over fabrics used in the paws. The paws are both fully lined with lycra. This is the black lycra in there. This end cuff is cuddle fleece. The black is cuddle fleece. The white claws and red claws are both cuddle fleece as well. And then this gold fabric here, which is the cushion cover fabric used for the paws. Now the paws are mostly hand sewn. The only machine sewn parts of the paws are the lining, which I sew on the machine and then hand stitch into the paw. I then machine sewed like little pillows pretty much for the paw pads, so each of these is an individual pillow that I then ladder stitched onto the paw. And then everything else is pretty much blanket sewn. So they should be nice and durable. But of course you do have to remember that a fursuit is a piece of art rather than a piece of clothing, <laughs> so so don't be too rough with them, but they should hold up pretty well. Let me give you a little wearing test to demonstrate what they look like on. Here we go. Nice and shiny. Well, there they are. Uh, another thing with my paws is that I always add a few stitches to the inside of each claw so that they point forwards. You can see they're all pointing in the same direction so they shouldn't be wobbling about all over the place. My paw size is one size fits all, so they are quite large and uh, they should fit most people. All right, that's the paws. I think I've covered everything with them. All right, onto the main event, which is the head. First of all, let me remove the protective eye plastic. I will return this onto the fursuit 
after I finished filming. So the head. Again, all of the fabrics are cuddle fleece, so the red, the black and the white are all cuddle fleece, except the teeth and the inside of the mouth, which are minky. Minky is commonly used to make plush toys. You probably have a minky plush toy at home right now. And again, the gold fabric is that cushion cover fabric. As I said, this head is built for a 23 inch head, but of course will fit smaller heads. Personally, I have a 21 inch head and I do find that it can be a little difficult to get it to sit right on your head at first, but once you've got used to it, it should be fine. If you do have a smaller head like myself, then you can probably just look out the mouth or the eyes, depending what you feel like, because that's what I did during the photo shoot. Speaking of vision, let's talk about the eyes. So the eyes are made of a hard plastic, which I have custom cut myself to be the right shape. They have a stiffened felt eyelash. The eye plastic is glossy. And the pupils of this fursuit are made using cross-stitch mesh, which I have painted a metallic gold pupil in. The gold paint used, in case you were curious, is Fine Tech Gold Watercolour Paint. I have sealed it, but I do highly recommend keeping the pupils dry as much as possible, just in case of any mishaps. But again, I did seal the paint. <laughs> the base of this fursuit is a foam base using half-inch upholstery foam mostly. I think there's a bit of one inch on the cheeks, but it's mostly half-inch foam. I find that the head is quite lightweight. I make my muzzle so that they're just a hollow box pretty much, so this is all hollow in here. So let's go over general construction of the head. So we have the foam base under here, which is half inch upholstery foam mostly. The ears are also half inch upholstery foam. The fabric is all cuddle fleece with minky details such as teeth and inside of the mouth. The tongue is blanket stitched in. It can be moved if you flip it upside down and pull it to the sides gently, then you can have it out of the side of the mouth like that, and at the other side, so you can get a couple different expressions going. The eyes were super glued on, whereas all of the fabric on the suit was hot glued on, and then ladder stitched together. The fur tuft on top of the head and the ears are both ladder sewn on a couple of times so that they are nice and secure, but I do recommend that you don't pick up the suit by the fur tuft or the ears. Once every now and then should be fine. I do it with my personal suits all the time, but I do recommend that you pick up a fur suit from underneath like that. And that should prevent any ripped seams on the ears or anything like that. <laughs> the tufts at the side of the face are also a foam base. Whereas the tuft on top of the head is like a plushy. This is just like a little plushy, squishy thing. The vision is... it's fursuit vision. If you've worn a fursuit, it's pretty much generic fursuit vision. Uh, if you do have a small little head like me, though, you can look out the mouth if you want. The ventilation is pretty good. I mean, there's a, quite a large ventilation hole there, so we should be able to get good airflow. This head is fully lined. Here's a quick turn up of the neck so you can see that's lycra in there and that is continued throughout the entire head. There's some pictures on screen of the lining. I'm not going to wave the head up at the camera because that just doesn't end very well to be honest. <laughs> the markings or the card suits on the cheeks have been ladder sewn on so we've got the heart, the ace, the club and the diamond those are all ladder sewn on. The teeth are also ladder sewn on. I do like the ladder stitch quite a lot. <laughs> And of course the eyebrows are also ladder sewn on. Let's have a quick 360 of the head. So, front, side, back, other side, and front again. And another feature of this fursuit is that the crown is removable. So let's remove the crown. To remove the crown, you just I recommend you push down on this ear, do not pull on the ear, just pull on the crown and make sure you're not moving the ear too much. And it comes up quite easily. So there's the crown, let's have a close look at this. The crown is just a plushie made of the, the cushion fabric again, so squishy, soft. It has the closing seam in the back. The crown is machine sewn except the closing seam which is hand stitched ladder stitch. That's the crown, there's not much to say about it really. <laughs> it is designed specifically for this fursuit, so 
It might fit other fursuits, but it is specific to this one in terms of the circumference of everything in the, the pattern. To put the crown back on the fursuit, I recommend taking note of where this back seam is, so you can put this to the back. I like to make sure I've got three spikes at the front, so it has a nice silhouette on the suit. And then you just push it down onto the ear, hold onto the ear and just wiggle it on like so. Can be a bit finicky, but you'll get there in the end. Now we have it! Crown back on. Oh, we're a bit out of focus, sorry about that, but I think you could see what I was doing. Crown is on. You might want to fiddle around with the fabric, but uh, it should be fine. There we go. Crown back on. This fursuit will come with a swatch sheet of the three types of cuddle fleece used, so if you do need to buy some replacement fabric or want to make some extra accessories for it, you have a swatch sheet to be able to, you know, find the correct fabrics. Well, I think that's everything I have to say about this fursuit. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at chachancontact at gmail.com. It's on screen right now and also down in the description below, along with the links to my social medias where you can also message me with any questions. Those are down in the description as well. I do require all customers to read my terms of service. There's also a link to that in the description below. So if you are interested in purchasing this suit, then please read my terms of service. And again, if you do have any questions about my terms of service, just give me a message and I'll explain things and we can talk it through. It's, it'll be fine. <laughs> Let me give you some quick postage information. So I am based in the UK. I only send out with full insurance and tracking. Postage within the UK should be £30. And postage to the USA, America, should be 125 British pounds. If you live in a different country, then come to me for a quote and we can see how much it would cost to send this suit to you. Well, I think that's everything, so again, contact information is in the description below. Feel free to ask any questions, my camera is about to go flat. So, thank you so much for watching, I hope you found this video helpful. And I'm going to go because my camera desperately needs to be charged. So, thanks for watching. Bye!